Hello everyone, this will be an introductory video to give you an idea of what we're going to do in this next series of videos. So first I'm going to give you a background of our project and then lastly we're going to discuss some integrated development environments that you can use to build your code. Okay, so let's start with the project background. So we will use our basic knowledge in Python to do some common tasks in genetic engineering. So basically our script will take in a CSV or a text file and then it will output also a CSV or a text file. So you can choose if you want a CSV or a text file. Now we will not discuss uh, graphical user interfaces here because that will take up a lot of time and also that will require some um, advanced programming knowledge. Um, but we have a, we will also use a um, Python library to create a graph. Okay, so that's also uh, very cool. Okay, so here is our input. So this is point number, northings, and eastings respectively. And I'm sure you are very familiar with this already. Now our goal is to convert this into line, distance, and bearing. Okay, so you have the freedom to, to format your output. Okay, so this will be a in a form of a text file or a CSV file. And then um, we will also create this graph. Okay, so this is very convenient because uh, you, you will no longer have to um, to, to open AutoCAD and plot it manually, so you can um, just run your code and you will see the a general picture or a general plot of the coordinates that you have. And we will use two approaches. So we will accomplish the same goal using two approaches. The first one is the procedural programming. So we will use, uh, in this approach, we will only use one file to accomplish the things that we need to do. So we will create functions, uh, different functions, and we will use them to, to get our output that we need. And then for the second approach, the object-oriented approach, we will create one class, and then we will use the objects of that class to accomplish our goals. And we will integrate the matplotlib library, the graphing library, in the second approach. And finally, we have our IDEs. So I would recommend that you use PyCharm because it has a, um, a convenient debugging debugging function. Okay, so if you if there's a part of your code that you you cannot understand, then you can use the debugger to to um, to understand your code line by line. So to see what's happening line by line, and then you can also use Visual Studio Code in the in the demos that I will create. Um, I will use Visual Studio Code simply because uh, the interface is much, it's much clearer for recording the videos, okay? But uh, from a programming perspective, a PyCharm is much better. You can also debug, debug in Visual Studio Code, but you need to install some, some software and that can, that can cost you time, okay? So PyCharm works right off the bat after installing it. Okay, so that's basically it. So thank you for uh, watching this video and um, in the next video we will dive in right away to, to creating our code. Okay, so see you in the next video.